this topic of of uh, decisions and machine learning it's obviously it is it is top of mind in in everybody's in in everybody's uh, in in everybody's to do list, right? So companies are exploring generative AI and other kinds of AI quite generally. In the back of people's minds, there's sort of a worry about about data quality, and um, and data quality has kind of been the bugaboo for decisions for a long time. Frankly, from my standpoint, it's scary with respect to to machine learning and. And so what I thought we'll do is, is let's just let's just um, have some fun with this, right? Let me. I'm I, I'm not a decision professional. I I suppose I make uh, decisions. I I hope some of them are pretty good. Um, but I, I I've 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 set out two goals for this presentation, and and sort of simultaneously, this isn't one and two, but it's more like one A and one B. Um, but first of all, to raise your concerns is um, you know the the simple reality is is that most data is in pretty darn bad shape worse shape than than people realize and and the second concern is is that quality is an extremely broad concept i i uh, i know in the in the decision sort sort of uh, one pager talk about reliable and relevant and um and i want to sort of broaden the thinking about what really ought to go in into decision making uh, from a quality perspective, and then of course is that you know I just yeah, the worries grow enormously with any kind of machine learning or or AI, and and then simultaneously what I want to do is 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 sort of like what do you need to do about it and and to you know there is no sort of sort of easy answer to this, but long term if you're able to think and act long term. You can do some things that will ensure you have higher quality data, and um, and and I, and I want to basically review some of those things at a high level. Um, so so let's start with this baseline, and and I, I call this the three sixteen thirty baseline. It's our best estimates of a couple of things. First of all, our best estimate of the the quality of companies' data sets the meet basic standards, right? You know, not anything really deep and clever, but, you know, just is this stuff okay? Our best estimate is, is that only 3% of companies' data sets meet that most basic standard. That's really pretty darn scary. Uh, not surprisingly, with that number so low, our best estimate is 16%. Uh, that's the fraction of managers who trust the data they use every day. And, and so, you know, we talk about data-driven decision-making and, and so forth. Well, it's only, you know, if, if, if only one in six managers trust the data, it's going to be pretty hard to get them to adopt data-driven decision-making. And maybe if only 3% of the data is trustable, they should not be trusting the data. 